Thank you to Unison. <laughs> Wait. For sponsoring this. Oh no, is it a sponsor too? They paid him money? Should we do Tatro? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I would say that should be something that qualifies you as putting it as F tier. Paid reviews. That's definitely, that's definitely F tier. Sh All right, Tatro works with Unison Audio. Not good. How to learn music production in 2023. Yeah, this guy don't give a f dude. Damn, he got a Seaboard Rise. Do you think he bought it or do you think they sent it to him? Because they're like, oh, this guy's not going to say anything bad about it. He's worked with Unison Audio. He'll work with anyone. <laughs> okay, let's look at the Sound Doctor one here. We got to throw in one of these. I need your help. I need $10,000. The f man. I mean, bro, you are already. Maybe that's why he's taking the Sound Doctor sponsorship. What is going on, everybody? This is Tejo, and welcome back to the Lo Fi Lounge. This video is meant to be like your blueprint, your ultimate guide, the things that you need to know and focus on, and the direction you need to go. This guy looks like he needs to go outside more. So if you do want to start making your own music, obviously I'm not going to teach you everything about learning music production in this video, but I will point you to all those specific resources that you can use to start making your own music. Learning the technical side, like how to use a DAW and how to use gear, but then you're also learning how to make music. The fundamental, tell me that every teacher has made it so overly complicated, but this- I mean, it seems okay. It's not really super entertaining, but it seems like he's not saying You need to wrong. just be making music. I've got a really great minimalist bedroom setup explanation video. There's okay, let me skip to a different video here. Let's see. This looks like an affiliate link or something. Yeah, I kind of wonder if I should split this into like two lists. It's like a, the second and third list because like it's getting to be too many names at this point. I'm curious if this is a review. Is this like a paid review or something? Like. Man's got a lot of rings. That is just a beautiful sound and it's a type of expression that I don't get with many other keyboards. But today we are looking at the Seaboard Rise 2 from Roly. And I it talks so slow, dude. Thank Roly for sponsoring today's video. Maybe what's actually possible with the Rise 2. And I want to thank Roly. So this could be considered a sponsored review. For sponsoring today's video. Plugin review list? You mean tier list? Or plugin reviewer list? Expensive keyboard? Yeah. Would you guys consider this a review? I'm curious. It's really hard to say because I feel like when people do these sponsored reviews, they don't call it a review, but it's clearly like a demo and they're trying to make it look good. You know what I mean? It's not a tutorial. It's not. It's really hard to say. Like, they're really like walking the line between what's a review and what's not a review. Infomercial. So, anyone who doesn't know, this sort of keyboard is an MPE keyboard. Product demonstration vibes, yeah. I don't know what to make of this video. What is this video? Is it is it a demo? Is it a review? What is it? Let's go to the end of the video. I think that's when you can really tell. I mean, it's an evaluation. I consider that a review. This is a paid review. I mean, it's not like a complex review or anything, but who would do a complex paid review, right? This is a Kyle Beats style video. I mean, even Kyle Beats gets to the point a lot more, a lot faster than this. We're playing just the same macros, everything works, and we are actually completely wireless. I'd have so much more respect for this guy if he just broke it. You get the point. A normal MIDI controller. Turn off all the cool functions and it will just work as note on and off like any other MIDI controller. Okay, let's see here. Here's the evaluation here. Here's the part that would be, is it a review or not? But it has such a specialized key bed and such a specialized feature set as an MPE controller that when I want to make these beautiful ambient soundscape- Music producer tier list so sexy. Oh, not yet. I mean, we're doing, we're doing research on it right now. Or when I want to make a more realistic sounding, whether it's a, a score with strings or even a guitar line, which if I didn't want to play actual electric guitar, but load up a plugin and do all these natural bends and things like that. I would say this is a review. This is a paid review. I'm pulling out the Rise 2 because it's the only controller that- This is some serious shell vibes. Ooh, damn. Holy shit, shit. Title it Hot Tub Studio Stream. That doesn't work. I tried it before. 
You need like a lot of viewers in order to get, and plus like, I'm a man, that's not gonna work. Come on. Oh, look, I actually commented something. You're shady as fuck for promoting you some products. What do you say? <laughs> Aw, he said my channel has some cool vids. Never mind. He's good, man. He's S tier, dude. He's S tier, in my opinion. I always feel bad when I criticize someone and then someone's like, I really like your videos, man. I'm like, oh, I don't like yours. Oh. <laughs> Today, when I sat down to work on music, I sat at my Reface CP. Man, I love the sound of that keyboard. I wanted to more transform the sound. And I ended up creating this really lush, ambient, atmospheric pad. Um, you can just choose to use one. Build a full, sad, lo-fi beat. And I'm going to be using a new plugin called Sound Doctor by Unison to transform each of the sounds in the beat. Thank you to Unison. <laughs> Wait. For sponsoring this video. Oh no, is it a sponsor too? They paid him money? Oh, oh dude. Oh, ow. Ow, that hurts my soul. That hurts my soul. Not only did they give him the plugin, they paid him money. I'll use the reface to also create a uh, hot sound. And it's weird, like, there's nothing wrong with taking money to do a sponsorship, but there's two things wrong here. To do it, to do a review, then also to do it with Unison Audio, of all people. Like, they're like, it doesn't get worse than that. I don't know if there's anyone you could do a sponsorship worse in music production other than Unison Audio. Instead of making a big washy sound that totally transforms it, I'll select one of the lo-fi presets. Some Tycho vibes. And here's how it sounds. Why did Tatro's video make me want to lay down and nap? Because it's all the lo-fi. It's just like some really slow lo-fi. I've heard a bunch of times Tatro's a shill. Yeah, I feel like he, he'll just go where the money is. Oh, one thing I want to see real quick though. There was a video of his where he says he, he needs $10,000. I want to know what he needs $10,000 for. Because maybe that'll explain why he's doing videos with Unison Audio. Like, is he addicted to drugs? Is he like, was he getting kicked out of his house? Like, does he just have like a gambling problem? Does he have a plug-in problem? Like what? Sh I need 10K. I need 10K too, man. This is like a quintessential lo-fi keyboard lead sound. I knew I wanted sort of a laid back. I mean, you could do this without Unison Audio though. That's uh, why I think this plugin, okay, let's watch why he thinks this plugin is cool real quick. And then we're going to get to the, I need $10,000 video. Next, I'm going to add in some good, <laughs> but let me tell you a little bit more about the plugin. Like I said earlier, you have over 25 effects available to you in the pharmacy, each of which can be dialed in as you add them to your chain. They all have adjustable parameters within them, whether I would have more respect for him if he was more like self-aware about it. You know what I mean? Like if he was just like, yeah, this thing's kind of dumb, am I right? Or some, or something, dude. Just like, you're like trying to hard sell it to your audience. Maybe it's more of a soft sell because of the lo-fi music and like talking real slow and I don't know, it's like a medium sell. Or just the general mix. And so far I've been using presets, but one thing that I think is cool is the randomization within the Sound Doctor. You can literally just press one button, roll the dice and it will- I mean, that's fair. I, I would say like there are some cool things about Sound Doctor. Like it's definitely one of their best plugins but I just can't, I can't be affiliated with the company, man. Generate an effects chain for Like just all the things they've already done, it's too much, man, it's too much. Okay, like someone asked me earlier if my videos are like cancel culture videos and they aren't, except for with Unison Audio. <laughs> I think with Unison Audio, I think I think it's fair to say they're irredeemable. It's, they can't do anything that they come back from anything they've done. Everyone else is redeemable, not Unison Audio though. Okay, okay. I think we, okay, let's watch the I need $10,000 video. <laughs> okay, why does he need $10,000, man? I almost wanna make a parody of this video. What is going on, everybody? This is Tatro. Not a good look when you start with black and white on a I need $10,000 video. It really looks like you're trying to put on, like trying to get the waterworks ro rolling. Reporting to you live, not from the Lo-Fi Lounge, but from South Korea. For those of you who don't know, I've been here for a few weeks, but this does not count My as- My girlfriend was asking content. where I was. I am working on lots of videos here, making tons of beats. Let's be saved your Twitch videos. Uh, I missed the first hour, yeah. Bunch of content around that. It'll come- Got him some bad people. <laughs> probably next month. I've also been eating lots of food and hanging out with Joe, who you guys all know. What do you think about it? What do I think about what? Wait, why Why is he telling us all this when the, when the videos I need Ten thousand dollars. I mean, the title was "I need your help," but in the thumbnail it says "I need ten thousand dollars." Also, painting a bit. So overall, it's just been a great trip. I can't like. I feel like wait to share with you all more about what's been going on here in South Korea. But 
we have something way more important to talk about today. Why didn't you talk about that in the beginning? Why didn't you talk about this in the beginning? I feel like it would have made more sense. Like if you really want to put that in the video, put it at the end, okay? Even that, I feel like it would still be in bad taste. You shouldn't be saying that on here. Oh my God, shut the f up. Wait, hold on guys. Breaking news, everyone. News. 10 producer essentials, Tatro versus Sanjay C. I just thought that was funny. I, I didn't know that was a thing. It's the most important event of the year. And you... Yes, Wait a minute. Yes, anybody out there, you can participate. We're Is he like really high? Like, look at his eyes. They're like super glossy. Giveaways. Community events throughout the month of October. And we're going to be raising money for... I a can't tell. Like, Is he wearing like contacts or something? They look really weird. Great cause. The event, if you don't know what it's called, is Beattober. I never felt misled by Sanjay though, to be honest. Like you get what you sign up for with him. It's as simple as this. It's a challenge every day in the month of October. What does this have to do with the money? Okay, let's skip ahead a bit. Let's find out why he needs 10,000. I need to know why he needs $10,000. In the giveaways and the community events is to follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter because I will be tweeting out the schedule events. Last year for Beattober, we raised $6,000 the Music and Youth Initiative, an amazing nonprofit that builds Is this just clickbait? in underserved communities where kids otherwise wouldn't have access to music studios, recording studios, geek. Okay, never mind. We can't rate him. We can't rate him poorly now, man. He's giving away money to kids. Here, instruments, all that. We raised $6,000 for them last year. And this year, I think we can do better. Our goal this year, and I think we can hit it. If you think we can hit it as well, please leave a comment down. <sighs> I don't know. This is kind of, yeah, definitely fuck them kids. But like, I don't know, maybe it's just like a really pessimistic of me here. But I feel like he's doing this because he works with like companies like Unison Audio. He's trying to like get on people's like good side. You know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like it's like kind of like how like a lot of rich people like give to charity just because it makes them look like not such evil people. It's just really unexpected for me here. I'm kind of like, what? But yeah, also fuck them kids. Down below will be to raise ten thousand dollars for the music and youth initiative there will be a donate button below my youtube content i will also make a paypal link available for those that want to oh my god oh dude i'm so pessimistic dude in my head i'm like dude what if it's all a lie what if it's just a big scam and there's no money being given to kids it just goes into his pocket the same pocket with all the units and audio money i'm just saying it's possible not saying that's what's happening okay no slander here just saying, it's a thought that popped into my head. Donate via PayPal. There will also be other ways to contribute to the charitable call. Wait a minute. So it gets sent to, okay, it gets sent to music and youth. Just making sure it doesn't go to his PayPal account. He just said something about a PayPal account, that's why. Pause, like we will have even more merch than we did last year. All of my membership revenue for the month of October will go towards the music and youth initiative and we'll be dropping a- Well, shit, man, he's a better man than me. I haven't done this. Beattober manifesto, maybe that's not the best word to use for this. I mean, manifesto, it makes me think of like something you're gonna send out before you like commit like a mass or something. Well, everything looks all right here. Just the police investigating right now, you know what I mean? Scams ahead, <laughs> dude. The irony here, holy shit. Oh, the irony is crazy here right now. Scams ahead. Bro, you probably don't want to put that in your own video. That's all I'm saying. I don't think you want to write scams ahead in your own video. Come on, that's like taking the gun and putting pointing it to your head or something. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're pointing a loaded gun at your head right now. So, here's what's really important. My Twitter, Instagram links, and this is obviously my YouTube channel. Those are my three sort of official- <laughs> Really? Oh man. That was just not the best title for that card there. <laughs> I will also be posting a ton. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. You couldn't, you couldn't write this. Ton of information on Beattober.com, which I'm still working on. It's still under construction, but you can bookmark it for now. I say this because if you get contacted by any other person or any other account, like I know Telegram is a big source of scams lately. It's not me. First of all, I'm verified on Instagram, so we're gonna mostly use that as a way of reaching out to people who win certain giveaways, things like that. But unless it's a- This video gets more cringy by the minute. Well, I mean, it's better than it was when we thought that he was asking for just money for himself, I guess. That's that's a plus. Link that I generally use or a link that's down in this- Okay. Everything looks okay here. This is actually, I'm actually having fun doing this. Okay, Sanjay. I, you know, 
I mean, honestly, so far my favorite content so far has been Tetro, but I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That was my favorite so far. That was the most entertaining by far. That was definitely the most, but I don't know if it was for the reasons it was supposed to be.